Greetings, pen pals. You know, sometimes I'll do a review of a pen uh, because I've just gotten it and it's brand new and I'm really excited about it. Or sometimes I'll do a review of a pen because I've just been meaning to do it for a while and I keep putting it off and putting it off and finally I get around to doing it, etc. Um, this time I'm doing the review of the pen and it's almost by request. So um, this pen is the Pilot Prera. Um, um, and this is a small steel nib pen from a pilot. Um, a little while ago, I did a review of uh, this pen, which is the Pilot Lucina. Um, and a few people uh, in, uh, commented that they were interested in comparing this pen and asking how this pen compares to the Prera, which is this pen. So I figured, okay, the best way to answer that would be just to do a review of the Prera, and I'll compare it a little bit to the Lucina. So right away, let's look at it from a size perspective. The Lucina, even though it's a small pen, is even bigger than the um, than the Prera. Here they are compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot. Oh, wow, we have to move the camera out. That's how much. Uh, that's a different size. So here they are compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. So you can see the Lucina is smaller and the Prera is smaller still approaching pocket pen size i'm not sure it's quite there yet from a pocket pen size but it's very very close this is a this is a pretty small pretty small pen it's a pretty light pen too it um only weighs uh 16 uh 16 grams um so what uh, what do we want to talk about with this pen so let's go through it so first of all this is a transparent pen and it comes you can get it with the sort of caps which are in this case this smoky gray color do come in a couple of different uh colors around the cap there is a cap band um but above the cap band is some um, um uh, labeling and it says prera it says pilot japan and it's got all these dots which yeah i'm not crazy about not really crazy about the dots um again it has the uh contrasting uh ends on the cap and on the end of the barrel that are sort of little sort of cap uh, trim caps that sort of uh, set it off um the clip is attached to the finial on the top of the cap it's a functioning kind of you know uh, nothing special about the clip really at all um it's a slip off cap it does have an inner cap liner as you can very very prominently see you got this big white inner cap liner a clear one or maybe a smoked one to match the in the uh these inserts here would have been better so you, right now you get this big white cap liner which is just sort of sitting there which is not the most attractive thing um in the world um the um our section is transparent which is really nice so you can see i got my ink here the nib is the exact same style nib and feed that is on a pilot um, metropolitan so here if we take a look at a pilot metropolitan although it's not the exact same nib it is sort of the same style nib and the feed appears to be um, exactly the same so if you like the writing experience in terms of nib on paper on a metropolitan you would probably like this now do keep in mind this pen is considerably smaller and lighter the metropolitan is a bigger heavier metal pen this is a very light plastic pen etc so the overall writing experience will be different but at least the nib on paper feel will be the same as a metropolitan comparing it to the lucina the lucina has what i would consider to be a bit of a more deluxe nib it's a it's a lo slightly larger nib and um it's just an i think it's just a nicer nib um right's probably comparable but um it's ha hard to directly compare because they're really quite a different sort of style nibs both steel nibs from uh from pilot um in terms of cost i think they for what they get for this pen which is well over thirty dollars if you shop carefully and pay a little more you can get this pen so in terms of just a straight up comparison I personally think the Lucina is a much, much nicer, dare I say, better pen than the Prera. Prera is a nice pen, writes well, but um, I, I definitely, if it was a choice, where if I was going to buy only one of these two, I would definitely get the Lucina over the uh, over the Prera. Um, in terms of filling mechanism, it is cartridge converter, and this one came with a Con 40, and all the normal caveats about Pilot converters in the con 40 apply it's not they're not particularly great converters it's impossible to get a completely full fill uh, from them etc so they are subpar relative to everything else that pilot makes um, their nibs their pens etc are great 
the converters not so much um, again it's a snap cap snaps on and off and it's got some nice trim it's got trim here trim there uh, metal trim there metal trim there it's got metal trim in a lot of places metal trim here so they do jazz it up a bit but at the end of the day it's a small plastic steel nibbed pen now the part where it gets good is it's still a st steel pilot nib and pilot makes some interesting cool nibs and this one is no exception this is the cm nib and for um for cursive medium and we will see uh shortly um how that uh, how that writes um uh, but um it's a nice it's a it's a really nice nib so that is a nice thing that you get you do have a choice of nibs and there are some nice nice pilot nibs and pilot makes absolutely fantastic um fantastic uh, uh nibs so there we are with um this pen i'm not going to do a side-by-side -side writing sample with the lucina because it's almost pointless they're completely different nibs this is just a, a regular generic fine nib cursive medium they're going to write completely different it's not even about really anything to compare um but we're going to see this pen right and we're going to see this pen right right now okay folks what we're writing with here is a pilot prera and this has a steel nib in what is called cursive medium so c m cursive medium so this is a bit of a stubby type nib with some line variations as you can see you get quite a bit of difference on the horizontal and vertical strokes and as a as a consequence of that it does add a bit of character to your writing but you do have to be careful because if you if you it's very very sensitive to angle see if i rotate the nib even slightly it doesn't even write at all um yeah so you do have to be careful to angle but it does write pretty nicely and i do like the way it writes it's a it's a it's a nice writing pen um you do have to um it is smooth when you get the angle right so if you get one of these and you put your pen to paper and you're not happy with it i would say give it a bit of time it, you do have to kind of practice and get used to it a little bit um but it is nice and like i said it is it is decently smooth and you do get a pretty nice um sort of sort of somewhat expressive line variation in your writing as a result of it but it just does take a little a little a little bit of uh, time but the line variation is nice it's sort of a semi stubby um uh nib um it does have sort of i guess what you call sharp corners a bit so and that that's what uh, could cause um uh, some issues but again once you get used to it it's all good so i think that's about all we'd have to say about the pilot prera for right now let's take a look at this ink now for a minute Okay, this ink is a Roshizuku Yama Budo. And this is basically, in my mind, sort of red wine. I mean, at least that's what it always kind of looked like to me. Um or if you want to go non-alcohol maybe grape kool-aid or something like that but to me it always struck me as kind of a reddish wine not like a burgundy red but a purplish um grapey kind of red um but um it's a nice color it really really is a nice nice color has a little bit of pop to it I really like it um i really like it quite a bit it actually dries pretty nicely you don't really get dry time issues or anything like uh like that and um looks really really nice again one of those really sort of classic eroshizuku colors that it's fairly popular and um 
for good reason. It's a it's a really really nice, really attractive um, uh, uh, color. Um, all right, I guess uh, that'll about do it on this rhodia paper. Let's take a quick look at what this ink looks like on Tomoe River paper. Okay, once again, this ink is Oroshizuku. Yama. Budo. And again, very, very, very nice. Very, very attractive. There is, on this Tomoe River paper, a somewhat of a gold sheen that can come out but it's very very subtle um this isn't like a crazy crazy heavily sheening ink or anything um like that but you can get some sheening effect on this if the paper's right if the flow is right if you have a wide enough nib if the right kind of paper etc so if all the planets align properly you will get a little bit of a sheen uh, on this um, on this uh, uh, ink but again don't buy this expecting something like um, organic studio nitrogen or anything like that it's it's nothing like that it's a very very subtle sheen that only makes an appearance on certain special occasions um, in any case I think that'll just about do it for this video um, I sure want to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video I would like to suggest that maybe you might be interested in subscribing. Please leave a comment or two. Please keep those thumbs up coming. And as always, until we meet again, have a great day. Bye-bye.